Well, we got the 24 valve sitting in there. She looks right at home. Built some motor mounts. Actually, we used the ones off the big Cummins. It was in there. And then we had to stick some pipes on the bottom to get some length to where it goes. So hopefully it don't rock around a whole lot. Um, air compressor's bolted on there. It's gonna get all hooked up. Still got to hook up all the injection pump stuff. Gotta build an oil line to go to that compressor. Use a factory front motor mount that was on this engine, this bus engine. And uh, weld the old cross member in because it had to be cut out to get the old engine out. See, it was right there. So this engine's a little shorter, so it had to move back a little ways. A new starter for it. Still gotta hook the batteries up to 12 volts. The alternator up and uh, throw the radiator in. Got a lot of work left. So now we got everything ready to run. Well, we've actually tried to start it, you'll see that, but got a lift pump mounted, air compressor mounted, everything plumbed for the air compressor, cool, uh, coolant lines, oil line. We took off our turbo piping to uh, so we can spray ether. Look at the valve lid back off to double check timing because we can get her to run. Got a fuel filter that I had on a common rail Cummins. Takes a cat filter. Oh, we got a nap across to it now, but looks decently factory. We got our throttle linkage hooked up. We got a fuel pressure gauge on there that doesn't work because we were wondering about fuel pressure gauge. So we found an old gauge out back that was no good. And I think I've had about five starters on and off of this thing. An old one we had sitting around off a of skitter. One that Napa gave us that we was supposed to be one out of a pickup, but wasn't. It was the wrong one in the wrong box. And we put a pickup one on it. It wouldn't work because the gear was too big. So now we got the original one back on there with the solenoid took off because they busted the solenoid when they pulled the engine, I'm assuming. So we just pull it with a wrench and hit the hot wire there. And uh, we got all our wires here. We got it so we the lift pump comes on with the key a factory wiring harness yeah we're doing like the pakistanis getting it hot yeah, maybe it'll fire. we figured the rings are stuck it wouldn't fire we're gonna cook our old starter before we get the new one cranking on it stop throttles that way a little bit Get a little fire there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That ether's almost locking her up. Yeah, yep, yep. So we we got to do is we're all right. You we'll, got enough heat in there to expand we'll, them we'll get, pistons a little yep, bit, we'll get, get a little compression. Yeah, we get it running. We'll go. We'll go. Yeah. Yep, it's gonna take a little while. Okay, I'm gonna get to on the throttle here. You want me to keep yep, going? Keep going if you can. <laughs> Get some compression. Yeah. I, I don't know what yep, changed to make us get compression now. Warming up. Or Warming up. Or, or yep. them rings crack, cracked loose or something in there. Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I think we only got about one shot. We're gonna have to go get a battery charger or something. Okay. 
I didn't have to hold it the other day. <laughs> that knock, it'll loosen them rings up, oh, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Took that gauge out, yep. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 
The only thing we don't know about yet is if our alternator is going to charge. So I loomed up some wires, tried to clean everything up a little bit. We're no real professionals, but and uh, all the, I think all the turbo, the intake air plumbing is going to work, except for this. The turbo on the old Big Cummins is a lot smaller intake than this HE351, so we need a 90 with this size on both ends. But looks like it's going to work. Come over here to this side. I put a original fuel shut off on it. It comes on with the key. Yeah. There she is. We wired up the switch for our grid heater up in there. So we actually have cold start aid. 